Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Lego review. So if you like this uh, review, if you like this content, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I got coming out with. If you want to support my page, my Patreon page, and my PayPal donation page are linked below in the corner of my home page on my YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys check that out. So the review that we're doing today is called set number 752501. It came out in 2008 18 at 1060 pieces for nine and up. This is Darth Vader's castle, and this was an exclusive for Amazon. So basically, you can only buy it on Amazon, or if you still can find it in the Lego store. You can find it in your local Lego store. Um, this set has not been retired yet, but as I heard, it's going to be retired probably by the end of this year. So you still can find it on Amazon. It's probably going to cost you maybe about 125 to 150 bucks. Um, I was very lucky to get mine off of eBay, and I paid a very very good price for it. Um, it was to me it was almost a steal, and. Um, and the build was a very good build. It took me two days to build it because um, I had other things I needed to do in, in the channel and stuff like that. So it took me two days to do it. I actually did the video of me building the castle. You can look under that under Lego builds that I have in my playlist. Look under Darth Vader's uh, castle full build and you can actually see me building it and stuff like that. Um, it was a good build. It was I, li I liked how it came out. I like how it looks uh, with the lava coming out from the front and how the windows look with the with the red backing on it and stuff like that. I mean, it was a really good build. And, it's a, and, and I would say it's kind of a solid build. Um, they they still have their little loose pieces on it, so you have to still be careful, you know, when you're moving it around and stuff like that. But if you're like me, after you build it you just put it in one place and you just leave it there and that's basically what I did and I'll show you where I have it and everything and I'll show you the the castle and stuff like that um, and you do get um, five minifigs with this you get Darth Vader you get the, the doctor you get two red stormtroopers and you get this robot uh, unfortunately with this set here that I bought it doesn't it didn't come with the minifigs. It only came with Darth Vader, but the rest of the other minifigs I don't have, so I have to reorder them um, through um, eBay and, and get them to go with that set. Um, and then it also comes with Darth Vader's uh, Tie Fighter that you do get. And I did get it with the with the set. So I only got the Darth Vader, the Tie Fighter, and of course the castle for the the money that I paid for. Uh, so maybe that's one reason why it was a little cheaper because of the um of I didn't get the rest of the, the minifigs with it But beyond that point I got everything else all the pieces were there. It was a beautiful set um And It was weird how the set came to me. It came with the original box um the bags were not open but the minifigs were not inside the bags so I'm thinking that maybe he took the bags, took the bags out, took the minifigs out, and resealed the bags somehow. I don't know. But when I got it, like I said, I only got the Darth Vader, the TIE Fighter, and of course the castle itself. Um, so, and I bought it off of eBay. And um, it wasn't factory sealed. That's one thing I, I it did not say on the description. When I, because when I got it, it was just uh, regular taped on it. To close the box um, but beyond that point I don't have no problems with it I mean I got the castle I wanted I put it together I got all the pieces the only thing I got to do is just spend maybe a couple of maybe 20 25 bucks on getting the rest of the figures you know so and I've seen a couple of sets that I needed to go with this set here that I will get the minifigs with that so that would be good so now we're going to move over to where the castle is at that's why you guys can actually take a look at it and see how I build it and everything. So it'd be right over here, guys.
So this is the TIE Fighter right here guys as you can see right here this you do get with it this is one of the pieces you get with it and this is a, a neat TIE fighter I gotta admit because it's small it's cute this thing opens up where you can put him inside it, Darth Vader, stuff like that. So I'm gonna put this over here because I want you guys to take a good look at the castle. Because this castle is really, really cool, guys. Especially with the lava coming down. The door opens up on the side. You got the two side panels over here, right there, going all the way up. And you got the gunner right there. And then you got the Sith temple on the side right over here. I'll try to move it a little bit for you can see it and right there. And it goes all the way in the back. So I'll turn it around. That's why you guys can see the inside. It's kind of dark over here. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't have the light over here. So there's the place where you put the... His ex, uh, his Tie Fighter right in there. This is the chamber right over here that you can put him in. This is his his the chamber other the other one the other chamber that he goes into. It has the hologram right over here. That's very cute, neat. And then right up on top is the gunner. Right there, you can put the gunner on top, and you can fire the little missile that's over there up on top. It goes all the way up. And you got the steers going up to the side, like I showed you on the other picture. And then over here, you got the Sith Temple with the two little sculptures of the Sith. It's a very, very cool build like I said it took me almost two days to build this because I split it up between two days but it is it is a, a solid build I gotta admit there is a couple of little loose pieces that you got to be careful with and stuff like that because they will fall off if you're not careful with it I recommend you build it and you just put it somewhere and you just leave it there don't go in mess with around with it and stuff like that because then pieces will start falling off and all that but like I said it's a nice piece to have you got the rock filter um, display right here the lava the glass windows that's in red and I think that was really cool and you got the, the how the building looks right there the castle it's really really neat I mean and you can see this castle in, um, in the Clone Wars on the TV on the TV series. And I also heard um, they might have this castle in the new Obi Wan Kenobi series. That's the rumor going around that they might have this castle in the. Um, the, the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series because everybody wants Obi-Wan and Darth Vader to go and fight each other again so they're trying to see if they can make that happen in the movie I should say the TV series so that's one of the things that they're going to try to go and do be cool if they do that because I would like to see how they're gonna put this on film with the CGI and stuff like that so that would be cool all right so guys hopefully you liked it that
Let me bring you right around again. Okay. So hopefully you liked that video. Please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I got coming out with. If you want to support my page, my Patreon page, and my PayPal donation page are linked below in the corner of my homepage on my YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys check that out. But thank you very much, guys. Until the next review.